I remember there was a drunk guy holding a bottle and running towards me. And I yelled, lo and behold, he came out from nowhere, amidst the chaos, took a chair and fended off the attacker. So I would say, without him, I would probably be sitting in a wheelchair now. And that's my the Yao, the ever dependable younger brother of mine. Now that he's married to Sherlyn today, I have full confidence that he would be the same dependable person. I'm really happy for the both of you. I can't tell you more about her because I'm sure you know her better than I do. Because I've told you all the embarrassing stories that you missed when you weren't around. But I will tell you this. Like her father, she will remind you in words, actions, and time she will make for you that she loves you. Like her mother, she doesn't love you for your achievements, she loves you for who you are. And if there ever will be a storm that will both come your way, you can count on her to be as strong as Ama. Dear Sha, finally, this day has come. It's been 1,525 days since we first met at the Sigma Cafe. So that translates to about four years, two months and four days have passed since that fateful Monday afternoon. I can remember the day so vividly with you and your lousy Blackberry phone. <laughs> you came home early, not only because you were excited to see me, but because you wanted to make me happy. And that's what you do, you always put me first. Every Wednesday, you travel from your workplace to mine to buy me dinner. During the short 15 to 20 minutes window, I eat so fast and I spend time catching my breath from the previous class that I don't see much to you at all. Still, you relish our brief and quiet time together before I scoot off for my next class. You are always so sweet and consistently so. Thank you for coming into my life and making it whole. In a few hours, I will become your missus. Thank you for putting out my quotes. And I hope you are prepared for more to come <laughs> in the future. as we live together, Mary. I pray to God that you will continue to keep us close. Let's stay together. Because you're always better together. The ceremonial affairs never do mean much to us. But you should know that this fanfare has led me to consolidate many thoughts, reflect on our past, and hope for many more dreams of our future together. Be good and be strong, you always say to me. So simple is this five-word phrase that has taught me purity, given me strength, and enabled me to do more, and even rooted me in my commitment to you. I love you, babe. Okay. Now let's go get married. <laughs>
I promise to love you always, to always choose you and put you first. I promise to always praise God in all times with you and to put God in the center of our relationship and family. Oh, Dayao, I promise to uplift and protect you in prayer, to support you in the aspirations that God impresses on your heart. I promise to wipe away all your tears, to celebrate with you in all your joy, and to plaster all your wounds. I promise to never give up on us, to keep fighting, even when there's no more fight in me. I also promise to always let you listen to my heartbeat, to the end of days, for as long as I live. For each beat it takes, it beats for you. I promise to be that safe refuge for you when you're weak, broken, ugly, or sick. To never judge or betray you, to never misplace your trust in me in the worst and darkest of times. And I promise to be faithful, Till I'm wrinkly and dry, so be good and be strong, for I am yours and you are mine forevermore. And I promise to guard these promises made to you, and I promise to never forget this beautiful day that the Lord has made. Thank you for loving me.